Hello, my name is Scott for SP Gaming, and welcome back to Transport Fever Trek Fever Edition. And in the last episode, we spent a bit of time over here talking about freight runs, but we spend a lot of time over here setting up some network. And basically, we have Thornton, Tacoma, and St. Paul connected with freight lines going like this. We have each of these different resources connected to a hub in each of the cities. So anything coming in here that is slag or construction materials will get shipped up here to be produced into construction materials and then be brought back here. In the same way, this coal will be shipped over here and then it'll be distributed over here. It could also get distributed out to here and then out to Garden Grove, out to another steel mill over here. That's entirely possible. And I'm doing this kind of as a test, although I have a feeling I know what's going to happen. And it's going to be profit all the way. <laughs> I haven't tested it out, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be. Because reasons. I have reasons to believe that this is actually going to work out very well. So, yeah, about that. Although, with that said, Combat, Steel, they're not losing us money, of course. Their frequency is low. The product is low. It needs time to, of course, ramp up. Whereas with a food line, wow, 906k, 11 second frequency. Yeah, I pulled some trucks off that line. Selena's transfer, 11 second frequency. Yeah, I pulled some trucks off. Actually, no, was it this one? No, it wasn't that one. It was RF Selena's I pulled the trucks off of. So, yeah, about that. I pulled some that weren't hauling anything, so it didn't really matter. But we have Tacoma Stone making a profit, 27 second frequency. Tacoma Refinery making profit. Tacoma Oil making profit. Tacoma Iron Ore making a profit. Tampa Iron Ore, yeah, it's making a decent profit. Tampa Oil, 259k. That's a little bit disappointing, especially with this amount of trucks on the line. So yeah, about that. And actually, did we... Apparently we had this... Upgrading. I guess there were still a few stragglers on the line, but what I would like to do... We got the Twin Coach! 44S. 111K. 11 capacity versus 10 capacity, so one extra passenger but 50 kilometers an hour versus 35. Right now, our yeah freight trucks are only 40 kilometers an hour. That is disappointing. So yeah, about that. Anyway, we are going to switch over to the 44S. Partially because, of course, some of our lines are complaining about vehicles getting too old. And while I'm at it, I would like to just rename these for reasons. Just because now I have double digits and it makes it a little bit easier to sort. Yeah, about this. All right, 01, 02. Uh, yeah, about this. 3P, placement, set vehicle. We're just gonna let this run, yes, and 25%. And that is that, that and that. 4P, we're gonna set this to twin coach 44S, say yes. Same thing with this. Uh, nope. Set vehicle. Hopefully nothing upgraded in that brief moment. We are going to rename. Oh, I can't. All right, about that. And yeah, I have different naming conventions. We're gonna replace this out. Set vehicle. Twinch Coach F. 
44S. There we go. Three, four, and five, and six. I should have planned ahead for these to be renamed. Yeah, I bet this. But it doesn't take long. And there we go, 1944, the big boy and the Douglas DC-4. We're not going to be using either. Wichita Steel Mill, Tampa Oil Refinery, Raleigh Oil Refinery. Wow. Buffalo Construction Shells Plant. <laughs> uh, yeah, about that. Anyway, we just want to let these upgrade. And what I might also do, of course, is the local routes. Bother. Yes, and 25%. And set vehicle. Switch coach. And twin coach 44S. Now, let's get rid of all that. And this one has upgraded 100%. It's only making 163K. It's rather disappointing. 51K. It's actually rather disappointing. I'm expecting better. I don't know if it's just that I had trains and that allowed encouraged more traffic overall. And this one, no, 100%. This one is still on. Yeah, we're going to set this to Ford Model 77. I think it's 1950s-ish that we get the Studebaker. Of course, it's 1944 right now, so yeah, about that. We're just going to say no 100%, no 100%. Same with these. And we are going to set vehicle, set vehicle, set vehicle. What is interesting? with a twin coach. This is like twice as long, almost twice as long. And it only has one extra passenger capacity. And no 100%. And no 100%. This one, no 100%. How are we doing over here? This one, no, 100%. Oh, these are only four years old. Really? All right, well, that's rather unfortunate. And we are going to set this one as well. Yes, and 25%. We'll let that run. Although with that said, that one has upgraded. This one is just about to. That one's good. That one's good. Really? Yeah, these buses are so small versus these. I think it allows them to queue up better. Wow, all these lines are losing me money. Except for Rally RT1, but that's not a surprise. 
And that one is good. And is this one going to be good? 22 years, yeah, definitely. There we go. That line has upgraded. And actually, Twin Coach has a 30 year lifespan, so I won't be annoyed by them for until 1940 or 1974. So that is going to be good. Uh, yeah. Now, a number of these lines I'm going to definitely want to ramp up. All right, well, we got a ton of oil here. We are going to buy road vehicles. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And this is going to the RF Tacoma Refinery. We have 101 items going to Tacoma St. Paul. Buy road vehicles. We'll buy that many. And this is 12F. Over here, we only have a couple items going to Tacoma, the Thornton. Over here, yep. And we have slag being produced here, that's nice. So bring up iron ore. And over here, we are going to buy a truck for 12P or 12F. We are going to buy five for the RF St. Paul Steel. Over here, St. Paul Conmat. We are going to buy. Let's go two for St. Paul Conmat. One thing with these lines is that they are much easier to oversupply transportation just because they are really, really short. Of course, because the stone is coming from over here, it's taking a little bit longer to get over here. And the slag is going to 12F. Why is it going to 12F? Yeah, about that. Now, off screen I did spend a little bit of time. Oh wow, 89 units. Let's buy some more Ford Model 77s for the Thornton Conmat line. And just want to make sure it's going to Thornton Central. Yes, it is. All right, about that. These are loaded available. So yeah, if you don't have anything, Although with that said, these all just... Did they just run up there empty? Oh, that is really, really annoying. They drove up there. Now they are just parked waiting. And we have the Studebaker, 1945. So it wasn't 1950s like I thought it was going to be. And we have the large size box car. Hmm, Studebaker, do I want to? Actually, for some of these lines, this line, yeah, I could run it. This line, I could run it. For this line here, I wouldn't be able to run it because I need slow slag and stone going this way construction materials back this way. This, I could just run the the boxcar version of the Studebaker. 
if of course I don't want grain getting over to the plastics factory. But right now what I would like to do is of course set up passenger traffic. So what I want to do is find a place for uh, hmm. Yeah, but this. Learned Street. I don't really like how this is sitting over here. We have the commercial and industrial here. What I could do. We're gonna put this right here. Oh no, not that. And I think I'm just going to use a one of these. Now we are also going to need passenger services. Do I use a loop? Not really. There, there, run that there. to do by road vehicles two three we are going to go new line there to there 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 this is going to be bus Thornton and actually, 1945, yeah, we're just going to go tram RT1. And what I would like to do, bother, bus, Thornton tram, we are going to, yeah, but this. We need a tram depot. Let's throw this right here. And we are of course going to have to upgrade. Yes, and electric. going to go down to medium street and now do we have we have the PCC 1643 Pittsburgh and bus Thornton tram RT1 this is red so one two three four five six seven Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We are going to buy up three more and we are going to go new line. This is going to be Boss Thornton Tram RT2. And it's going to go from here to there to there.
up to there to there now apparently Okay, so we got local services here. We are going to have to, of course, run local services here. Hmm. Do I run trams? Or do I just go buses? Now the question is, where is the local bus services going to come in? I could have it come in here, although, no, I want it to come in here. Buses will come over to this way, yep, that'll be fine. going to run this like that to there and I'm going to run large street don't say no and no this is gonna come is my passenger hub to be right around here. there and now what I want is a separate tram station and we're gonna throw this right about here I think actually no here and what I'm going to do is have this Now, how can we 
I just want to get rid of this bit here. Let's run this this way. Medium street, yes. Large street. Just gonna run that through there. Medium street. Fine. Let's bring this like this. Yes, electric track. Large street, no and no. And now we are going to say yes. So much freaking hassle. Now we are going to connect that up to there. Move that up to there. All right, but that. Now we can add buses. One there. One there. One there. 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 And we're going to run this down this way. Where? I don't exactly know. Right here, possibly. Road, small street. Yes. go I don't want to destroy there we go and now we are going to set up new line at least two of them This is where are we we are in Tacoma. Tacoma. It's not an RF. It is tramline. RT2. Bus. Tacoma. Tram. RT1. And we are going to go from here to here to here, there to there, back here. Back to here to there. This one is going is going to go from here to there. Over to here, there, 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 there. Uh, no, not there. And what I might do... Let's 
station there, and then back to there. Now, do I want to do that? Sure, we'll do that. Although with that said, to I'm actually going to get rid of this one here. Three and seven. Oh no. Six. One, two. As station there. Four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yep. And we'll just toss those. And so we got local route here. We are going to, of course, need tram depot, which we can, of course, throw right here and so the red line is going to be a lot longer than the blue line oh no Tacoma and then Tacoma RT all right so what I would like to do we're going to add a second one to Tacoma Two more to RT1. It's 80 and 110. All right, so we're roughly even by seven second difference. Four and three. What I would like to do, we're going to put three more on the Tacoma RT1. And two on the Tacoma RT2. 44 and 46 seconds. That's a pretty good frequency. That'll encourage people to travel. I kind of want to do the same thing to Thornton over here. We're going to buy three for the Thornton RT1 and three for the Thornton RT2. That brings them down to 41 second from a 136 second frequency. You know what? I might just, yeah, bump them up to actually one more. 61 seconds. about that now we also need to do by road vehicles twin coach 44 s we're gonna have this run on a new line this is gonna go between here and here and this is going to be was it 12-P uh, Where is No, 11-P Tacoma to Thornton And we are going to buy Twin Coach 44S and the 11P line. And yeah, I don't, don't really care if it goes off. Just because it'll take time for the local routes to connect up. You're going to do the same thing here. Now we have 
residential here. What I want to do is bus tram station. I'll throw this here and then we are also going to Put a second one here, I think. Actually, no. We'll throw it there. We're going to run new line here. Over to there. This is going to be green, and this is going to, of course, be called 12-P Tacoma to St. Paul. What I'm going to do at the moment is we are going to buy road vehicles, Twin Coach 44S, and we are going to put it on the 12P line. That'll get some initial interest in traveling. Uh, nope, not that one, this one here. And we are going to run electric electric tram track. Sure. Like that. And we are going to run two new lines. This is bus St. Paul, tram RT1. And this one here, bus St. Paul. Tram RT2. And station from here. And we are, of course, going to need bus stops. And there. This one is going to go from there to there, 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 back to here, up this way over to there, and this one is going to go Throw this over there, and we are going to go start from here and go this way. So that will be a shorter route going that way, otherwise, everyone else will be taken RT1. And now we want Tram Depot. By trams, PCC 1643 will run four for now on the bus St. Paul tram RT1 and two on St. Paul RT2. And 82 and 84 seconds, so those are fairly balanced. What I'm going to do, we are going to buy Another one for the St. Paul RT2 and two for the St. Paul RT1. 
55 and 56 seconds, that's fine. And that will encourage people to want to travel. How are we doing over here? Uh, we got a lot of trucks flowing in through this main route. This is Tacoma Oil. And 12F. Yeah, about that. I was thinking about putting a depot here, having them come in and then just have RF Tacoma go across the city. That is a possibility. Are you gonna go? Oh wow. All right about that. I hate auto spacing. Yep, that seems to be the only thing, the only thing that's really happening here. Where are you going? And what do we got here? Buffalo Construction Materials Plant in Wichita Falls Steel Mill. And we have iron ore and stone going over to Tacoma to St. Paul. What we're going to do is connect this up. We're going to say no and no. And one thing I might do, there is the Alco PAPB, but uh, we will not be using it in this series. Uh, we want large street. We want no to bus lane and yes to tram. Now what should happen of course is that, are you? Wow. All right, so we had a bunch of trams just clustered in here. to do is we are going to upgrade this all right about that All right, so we have fuel, we have construction materials, we have slag, and we have stone all heading to 11F. We are going to do is put a bunch of Ford Model 77s on the 11F line. There we go. Yeah, you can get going. Pick up and go. Pick up and go. Pick up and go. Pick up and go. Up 
Now, if we check our lines, 12F is making 335K. 11F is making 191K. That's not that bad. Selena's the Buffalo, 724K. So, yeah, I bet that. We're going to rename that. And it looks like all the other lines are renamed. This one here, wow. What's going on with it? No, 100%. Uh, we can remove this. No, 100%. What is going on here? We have a just a cluster of Yes, we do. In this case, we just have... Actually, yeah, we have three lines running right into this. Plus the local routes. That is a lot of freaking traffic. Extra large. Can I? Not really. Well, I can upgrade these to extra large. Construction is not possible. Really. Say that this would be needed. Although, with that said, yeah, all these big buses, they take up so much space. This here is the bottleneck. Anyway, at this point in time, what I'm going to do is take a break here. This is rather unfortunate. Because this is, this is probably also dragging down our frequency. What I might have to do is put a, the depot out here and just run that line here to here and then just have a local service come across the bridge into the city. Because, yeah, that's a little too much. Like, these are just... Yeah, this one has to go for this one to move. This one can't go. Of course, then it wait. It, yeah, it's going. Yeah, the only way for these to move efficiently is for them to phase through each other. Anyway, at this point in time, I'm going to take a break here. And we will continue off with more Transport Fever Sandbox Edition in the next episode. Things are coming along. We added this section. We added passenger services. And it looks like 36 people to come into St. Paul. That is nice to see. Indeed. Same thing over here. 48. And how about over here? 22 and 7. So yeah, that definitely has possibilities. Anyway, at this point in time, I'd like to say thank you for joining me for this episode of Transport Fever, Truck Fever Edition. Thank you for watching. My name is Scott Frisby Gaming, and as always, have a good day.